All right guys, what's up? Kind of an exciting day today. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I think I'm finally ready to. Uh, we're bringing back the turf cell today. If you saw my video with the uh, electric car stuff that I was going over, I actually did end up putting all that stuff in my turf cell. I actually got the car put together in about 12 hours. You can go check out my Instagram for the whole story on that. My Instagram is just wideband YouTube. I'm also gonna put a link down in the description. But now I'm working on the finishing touches to make it actually road legal. And we're also working on making it look a little bit cooler. I did lower it down some more. I'll just show it to you guys right now. All right, so here it is. You can definitely see that it's way lower. That's it next to the Volvo. Uh, yeah, it's tiny. I got some new headlights. Just some eBay projectors. They make it look a lot meaner and I put a fresh coat of black paint on the headlight surrounds. I still have to figure out a front bumper situation. I might be working on that today. Let me just pop the hood and I'll show you what's going on under there. I don't know if the camera justifies it, but this car looks mean now with these headlights and it's so low. All right, here's under the hood. Electric forklift motor bolted to the transmission. Power lines coming through the firewall. I just self tapped this metal plate into place. I didn't really want to weld it and I really couldn't find a place to bolt it in. So as with everything on the Tercel, it's kind of just done quick. So there's a big flat metal plate right here and on it is my speed controller, my solenoid, and my throttle box. I went over a lot of this on my Instagram, but I'll go over it here again. That's just a really quick and dirty motor plate. You can see it's still actually a square. I didn't even trim it down. That's what bolts the motor to the transmission. Inside there's no clutch, just a small adapter to allow the motor to spin the input shaft. Since there's no clutch, there's actually no slave cylinder on the transmission. Normally it would go right over that little hole right there. Uh, we got manual brakes because there's no vacuum. This car already had a manual steering rack, so that's easy enough. Coming to the inside, it's the same old Tercel. No dashboard, fully gutted. This car's been on my channel numerous times, basically from the start of my channel. So if you wanna know the history on why it is what it is, go check it out. Coming to the back, got my three batteries. They're just ratchet strapped right now. I didn't wanna build a battery box because I'm probably gonna grab three more batteries. And once I do that, then I'll build a nice insulated box for them. But for now, they're just securely mounted in the trunk. Power wires, ground wires, all that. There's a really big fuse right there. It's like a 500 amp fuse. Oh yeah, and the lowering. Uh, right now it has Civic coilover sleeves in the back and stock Volvo springs from my wagon because my wagon has lowering springs. I took the stock Volvo spring and cut it and put it in the front because I had the sleeves all the way bottomed out and it still wasn't low enough. So now this thing is absolutely slammed. There's literally about an inch and a half of suspension travel. So if you think this doesn't look low, I'm just gonna remind you that those are 13 inch wheels. I mean, I can't really go much lower than this. The axles are actually pointed at an upward angle. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. We're already pretty much bottomed out. If I hit a bump hard enough, the back wheel will actually hit the wheel well and that's with a 13. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but this is the Volvo bumper loosely zip tied up to the Tercel. I need a front bumper. I don't really have one right now. This just makes it look a little bit too friendly, I think. I don't know. There is another option here, but I technically don't own it yet. I might try to get this Eclipse bumper, this red one. See how well that fits on there. All right, I'm now the proud owner of an Eclipse DSM whatever bumper. Uh, it comes with this hilarious sticker. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna try to make it 
work on the turf. So I might coat it with a coat of black first. We'll see. So I really don't wanna put the red on there. I think I'm gonna paint it black before I even try to put it on the car. All right, so I got that DSM bumper spray painted black and mounted up. It's really hard to see in this light, but it actually fits quite well. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. It looks way better than the Volvo bumper on there. And uh, I didn't have to ruin my Volvo bumper. Now, since the back bumper of the car is black and the DSM bumper is black, I think a black side skirt would be nice. I'm gonna do the Mighty Car Mods uh, garden edging side skirts. And I might even use them for a lip in the back and the front, or maybe just in the front, and then we'll make some kind of diffuser for the back. But so far, reactions to this car have been amazing. Like anyone that stops by the shop is immediately like, what is this? And then I show them the electric motor and their mind is blown. I'm really happy that's turning out so well. If the internet reactions are anything like the real life interactions, then I did my job perfectly. Because at first people are like, what is this? It's so ugly. And then I show them the electric motor and they're just like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I just mounted my front plate. It's one of those like $5 eBay relocation brackets. You can kind of see how it's bolted up. Uh, it actually makes the bumper look a little bit better because now it kind of draws your eyes away from the little imperfections where it doesn't fit perfectly. So I'm kind of happy about that. I do live in a front plate state and uh, this car is already a cop magnet. One less reason to get pulled over is good for me. Now I'm gonna pull this thing forward and we're gonna start putting on those side skirts. Side skirts. I could have pushed it because it's so light, but I'm taking every opportunity to actually drive this thing because it's so much fun. <laughs> like, yeah, I know it's not fast, but just whipping around making no noise is still a new feeling for me. And uh, also, look at this thing. This thing is just fun to drive. Look at it. All right, so here's one on. It doesn't look amazing, but it does bring it down to the height of the bumper. They're about the same lowness, so that's kind of cool. And I like how it flares out at the end right there, but I don't like the wavy plastic bit on the top. It really didn't want to unroll, so I guess that's just what's gonna happen. Maybe after a while that'll go away. It is really cold out right now and all this is really stiff and hard to unroll. I'm kind of glad I didn't film it because it was really frustrating to actually get it to go onto like the side of the car. I just popped it on with self tappers like pretty much everything else on this car. Uh, I don't need to take the time to rivet it, which is funny that I say that because these, these plates are actually riveted. I took the time on those but not on these. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the back bumper or not. I thought about trying to build a diffuser for the back bumper, but to be honest, I don't really mind the back bumper being higher up. Plus I wanna wait on stuff like that because I am gonna put bigger rims on this car. I'm not sure whether I wanna go with like 15s and no offset and widen the car up, or if I wanna go with like a 17 and just tuck it and have it like mini truck style tucked up into the uh, fender. I'm honestly not sure yet. There is a slightly cheap set of 17s near me right now that one of my friends has. I'm thinking about doing a test fit on the car this weekend. Uh, they're also gold and they match the motor, so they really are the perfect fit. I'm gonna do the other side and uh, I'm not gonna film it because like I said, it's, it's super frustrating. The sides of my car aren't really that flat, so the self-tappers wanna wander around and slip and stuff. I had someone comment about the Volvo today, like, bro, I'm really sorry, but it's just too cold to paint, and I wanna get the engine bay at least like all smoothed and painted before I do more work on this. 
So sadly, this is gonna sit for a little while until it gets warmer out. And my winter projects, at least for now, is this Tercel. So I got the other side skirt on. It looks like the other one. Not really much different, still kind of wavy. Hopefully it smooths out over time. I was gonna hang like a JDM subway handle and drag it on the ground, but apparently this car is so low that the toe strap itself is just on the ground. So I'll call that good enough. Yeah, if I bolt it on the front, I can have it coming out the uh, fog light hole on this side. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then see how it looks. There we go, look at that. Both the front and the back ones are bolted to the stock tow hooks. So that was an easy install. Five minutes of my time. Just adds a little extra touch to the car. I'm just happy because this thing is slowly starting to come together and get to a point where it's the kind of ugly that I like. I have very specific taste in cars. I like them super ratty but with like little details here and there. And these like, like the toe strap coming out the bumper. That's a little thing I like. The side offset mounted plate, the brand new headlights. Like the car's junk, but it's got brand new headlights. I like stupid stuff like that. I don't know, there's just so many directions I can take this and I'm pretty happy with where it's going. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, I'll do a real quick rip up and down the driveway so you guys can see it move and then I'm gonna work on making it legal. Hopefully that'll work for now till we get some real driving videos. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content instead of the Volvo content. I really think this car is fun to work on. So this is what I kind of want to do over the winter. And I really just can't wait till it's legal and we can drive this on the street. I want to get more reactions out of people. This thing is just hilarious.